Ahoy there mates and welcome to our next episode of Peter Plays. Today is Free Play Friday, or actually I'm recording this on Wednesday evening because I'm going to be busy uh, for a few days. But uh, it'll be released on Friday, I promise. So uh, here we are, we are Jose Joaquim Almeida and our job is to figure out what's happening with this kidnapping in Santiago so we are now somewhere where are we I don't remember let's look at map Santiago was Santiago not on this island Drop anchor. Oh, look at the size of this port. It's another one of them uh, for, for its century online locations. This this is quite beautiful actually. Too bad there are no item traders here at the market stall. Gained a bit of experience from talking to the guy. Gallows. Ugh. Scary. So. We cannot fast travel anywhere because we are in reali realistic game mode. Oh, there's an item trader. I don't actually need an item trader, but. Uh, we can have a look, see? Sell all loot. There we go. Get ourselves a bit of more money. We have a leather jerkin. Gunpowder barrel. That's actually useful. That's useful too. Uh, I'll take that and that and that and that but whatever is this huh never seen that before master keys <laughs> bullet algebra plus one extra accuracy plus one commerce shows how to calculate those pesky firing elevations and how to buy one get one free at the merchants includes a free pop-up abacus i'm going to buy that because of course i am this uh this is one hell of a merchant he's got like everything i am impressed you can now see in the upper left corner of the screen probably not in this crap resolution i'm saving to the exact calculations of how much money I got for uh, selling stuff. So let's go ahead and equip what we've got. I'm going to equip the spyglass chronometer. And the balloon algebra, you can actually examine it. Look. Theorem. All numbers are equal to zero. Proof. Suppose that A is B, then, and there we go. Furthermore, if A plus B is B, and A is B, then B plus B is B, and 2B is B, which means that 2 is 1, and your 2 mass brick is actually a 1 mass tartane. Yes, that's how math works. And what is this story here? Jack Sparrow and his two lieutenants stay a night in Tortuga Tavern, where they're charged 10 gold each. 5 for the normal tavern rate, and 5 for the knight's company with the bar wench. It still works out cheaper than going to the brothel, so Jack takes 10 gold from each lieutenant, another 10 gold from his own pocket, and hands over the 30 gold total. The following morning the bar wench says that she forgot that there's a special offer for a foursome. It's only 25 gold total, and hands 5 gold back to Jack. Jack puts 1 gold in his pocket, 
gives one gold to each of his lieutenants, then gives the other two back to the wench. Now there are two problems with this story. One is that Jack Sparrow, having got his hands on five gold, would not willingly part with it again. The other is that each man has now paid a total of nine gold, which together with the two gold Jack gave back to the wench makes a total of 29 gold. Where's the missing gold piece? Oh, yo, oh, oh. All numbers are the same and math is pointless, which means it's time to put down this book and get back to the helm before you hit that rock ahead. <laughs> Got a lot of jokes in this in this game of ours. I, I I thought I told this to equip actually. Let's sell this guy our cap again. Uh, was under items. Sell the compass. Sell the clock. Sell the spyglass. Wait, right, these ones I can also equip, right? Under items. No, maybe under weapons. Ah, better jerkin is good to equip. Gunpowder barrel, so I can get 24 loads of gunpowder and 24 pistol bullets. That's quite epic. So, uh, is there somewhere, anywhere, a citizen walking around who I can ask about where the hell to find the tavern? Is the rest of the town? Some citizens. How about you, lady? Hello there. Oh! She wants to sell me something. She sells a Borgia blade in a sandbag. I've always wanted to have a Borgia blade in a sandbag of my own. Sure, I'll take it. And she has Under the Jolly Roger. For novice pirates, something to read while swigging your rum. The book contains hints to help you survive and make the most of your plundering career. Well, we're not a pirate, so uh, she can keep that one for now. Actually, I am looking for somebody to ask for directions. I'd like to ask you for bearings. The tavern. In front of the governor's mansion, turn your back to the mansion to face a square. The tavern is at the far end on the left, it has a small set of steps. Okay. Nice thing is, this has actually unlocked the fast travel. Leave me alone, I'm off duty. Oh, don't worry about me. Welcome to my tavern, stranger. My name is Pedro Fructoso. What brings you here? I'm here on business. I need information. I'm working for Lady Carranza. I want to speak with Abel Barco. Do you know him? Not really. He's just paid me to inform him when someone working for Lady Carranza would ask for him. And to tell you, tomorrow he'll wait for you outside the town. Alright, tell him I'll be there. Okay, tomorrow, but it needs to be tomorrow then. Until tomorrow afternoon in the tavern hall, because that just says time. Got some uh, experience. Now we're going to search for this jungle. Where could be the exit? Okay, so that's where the tavern was. Who are you? Hello? Not the item trader. Another excellent item trader. Wow. Wow. This guy this guy's has got so much good stuff, it's amazing. Well that must be the governor's mansion. 
I'm going to assume that this is the exit to the jungle. It is not that this... Oh, that's where I actually came from. It's the port. Why did it say port site in the quest book? Where does that go? Oh, that goes to the jungle also. Oh, it's already dark. Time flies. We're standing still. Ah! I suppose you're working for Senora Carranza. You're right. So, give me the ransom, Senor. Hold on, my friend. I want to see your husband before. No, mate. You give me the ransom first and I'll accompany you to the place where he is. All right, let me explain you. I'm not here to pay. If you want to live, you're going to tell me where he is right now. Are you joking? Bad. Go to hell. Life, not tell you where you can find him. That's better. So he is imprisoned in the house near La Tortue Dock. You cannot miss it. The door is always guarded by two men. Who is the leader of them? A French pirate, Captain Robert Aker. He has spent his last years kidnapping wealthy people in the Caribbean. Well, I'm going to stop his business. About you? I hope you aren't lying, otherwise I will come back and kill you definitively. Now, go away! Can I shoot him? Hey! Where did you come from? A bit of looting here. Well, so, there's somewhere here and we have to go to La Tortue, which is a French colony that is accepting of pirates, and the French are hostile to me. For some reason I cannot change my flag, it's a little bit concerning. But we will figure it out. So, I think we have to go the other way. Can't jump off here, can we? No, that would have been too nice. There's no other ships in port. Which makes me wonder if the ship locators in this location model are perhaps a little bit missing. Thanks, Al. Ah, now we can change flags. Let's not do it yet. Of course, you pay the crew. You're a nice captain. Uh, can't sail through the rock. Compass. That's what you want to see. So this little island up here is the island of Lato too. And we're going to hope that we can somehow get into port without being murdered. moment Portuguese colors. Let us go for French colors.
French tricolor. Napoleon has been busy. Into the bay we fly. There we go. Ooh. Let's turn down the time compression for a bit. This is a bit uh, hectic otherwise. Calm down, calm down. Oh, oh that's that's not for me. He's uh, going to find some other twat. Let's see where he goes. Seems I can run faster than this uh, big guy. Where are you going, my friend? Now this is Tortuga. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Stop the pretty lady. Scarlet, now where have I heard that name before? Scarlet, how are you? Why have you been away so long? Bang! How dare she? Why? Whatever have I done to her? Anna Maria? Do you know her? Who? Ah! Giselle! Do you know them? I don't know either of them! I don't know you either! Smack! <laughs> Ladies of Tortuga are funny. So... Near La Tortue Dock. Near La Tortue Dock. Near La Tortue Dock. Not up here, I think. Look at this guy. Looks like Captain Hook. It's funny. What a bunch of pirates. Two ladies fighting. Look at that. They look, they look identical. Only one of us can look like this. Look at the guy standing there, just looking at it. He's already bored. So this, uh, this looks promising. We've got here some folks. Can we talk to them. What do you want? No stranger allowed near this house. All right, sorry. Let's book updated what happened. I'm quite sure it's the house I'm looking for. As I thought, the house is well guarded. I cannot enter by the door. I need to find another way to free the prisoner. Something more discreet. Maybe through a window? Can we do that? That's a window. He's got nothing to say. This is interesting. Window, how do how would we get to a window? Let's have a look up here. Can we walk here? We can walk here, that's that's interesting. It's basically this house, wasn't it? Hey! This is working. Fernando Suarez. Who are you, senor? Don't speak so loudly. 
Must be many guards in the house. Did you come to free me? I suppose you're the Elvira Carranza's husband. Yes, but I still don't know who you are. I work for your wife. And yes, I came to free you. Thanks God, I had almost lost the faith to be released. I'd like to explain better the situation, but I have no time to talk, Fernando. The kidnappers could enter in the room at any time. Follow me, we must run away! That's all. Oh, we're uh, already uh, out on the water. I thought we'd get to run, but uh, no, we don't. So, what's happening now? Easier than I thought, however, surprisingly, he refuses to come back to Havana. For bad, he wants to go again to Santiago. He said he'll explain better the reason when we arrive to the town. Okay, it's a good thing that we've got this quest book, because he didn't actually say that. We have to try to tech to get out of this uh, bay here. Turn, turn, turn. Go for the wind. More cutthroat island music. <laughs> so cool. Okay. Santiago, apparently. A storm. Strike them down. I aye. Got to put the head, the waves from ahead because otherwise there's a risk we may capsize. But uh, oh shit! Oh no! The crew got seasick. They're more rail reduced. But we su survived and we had better hoist the Spanish flag again. Santiago. Now tell me. I think I can now tell you why I wanted to be here. I hope so. We are taking unnecessary risks delaying your return. I was not in Santiago for business reasons when I was kidnapped. What do you mean? It's a long story. Let me explain the tavern. Alright, let's go. De la Bart. Hey, 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 do you know Bartolomeo or Portuguese? He's from the other storyline! Of course was a famous Portuguese pirate. He has participated to the Battle of Aguadilla and attacked the fortresses of Havana and Cartagena. Right, it's also my great-grandfather. What? I must say it's a bit ironic. You're Spanish and he was not known to be a friend of the Spaniards. Yes, but he has loved a Spanish woman. Who? Lady Lucia Montavez. He met her when he was in mission in Cartagena. She was the Cartagena governor's daughter. That's unbelievable. How did the governor agree to let his daughter marry with a pirate, an enemy of Spain? Uh, he didn't. Almost one year after the events of Cartagena, Lucia Montavez ran away from the Spanish town and asked protection to the governor of Granada. She knew Bartolomeo used to work for this Portuguese governor. When Bartolomeo, returning from a mission, met her in Granada, it just took one month for them to be married. Of course, his fast father disinherited her. So, they lived in Granada? Yes, during almost 15 years. Thanks to the gold earned in his expeditions, he bought a lot of lands and became the biggest landowner of Granada. A successful landowner after being a successful pirate? Unfortunately, the luck took a turn for the worst. 
How? In my family, I'm not the only one that has been kidnapped by pirates. Bartolomeo was kidnapped? No, he's had a boy and a girl with Lucia. But when he was only 13 years old, the boy was kidnapped. In that time, Bartolomeo was an old man. He refused to pay the ransom and decided to find the pirates, kill them and free his son. A too dangerous mission for an old man. He didn't succeed, right? Indeed, he has never come back home, neither his son. What happened to his wife? Despite her sadness, she stayed in Granada ruling the family's business, but not for long. Six months later a fire burned her mansion and all the stocks of sugar. The governor of Granada refused to help her lending money so that she could continue her business. Bartolomeo dead? The governor didn't care for the rest of the family? Exactly. So she had to leave Granada and go to Havana to live with her cousin. The only person of her family who didn't repudi repudiate her after her marriage. I understand. But why do you tell me all this? Well, six months ago I decided to go to Granada and visit the mansion where Bartolomeo and Lucia have lived. Of course, except a few walls, all the mansion had disappeared. But miraculously below the rubble I found a chest. Inside it there were some clothes and also a book. The Bartolomeo's diary to be more specific. And? The last entries of this diary is about the kidnapping of his son. I thought I could find some information about the whereabouts of his son. Finding where his son was imprisoned could give you the location of the Bartolomeo's corpse if we admit he was killed by the pirates. Indeed, I also think he died when trying to free his son. Unfortunately, I was unable to find this information in the book. At least, nothing of obvious. That's why I lent the diary to someone here in Santiago. He knows a lot about the history of the piracy in the Caribbean. I've had to let the book one or two days, time enough for him to find the clue. As you must guess, I was kidnapped before being able to pay a visit to him. Alright, do not waste more time. Let's go and see him! Alright, you have control again. Leave me alone, you stupid soldier. What does our bookie say? Oop. Never thought I could meet the relatives of Bartolomeo of Portuguese, the most successful Portuguese pirate of the Caribbean's history. Now my next step is to see Arnaldo Chaparro. He's a cartographer and lives in a house with a terrestrial globe over the door. It's opposite the blacksmith in the center of this town. Okay, on the lookout we go again. This town. Hello there. Directions. Hmm. Shipyard. Taylor. Oh! To whom might I entrust my sword? It's one's fine edge blade has become a bit dulled. Our blacksmith works outdoors. Start from the town hall and head towards the big arched building. Just before the very first set of small steps, look for a stall on your left. Town hall, big arched building, first metal small steps. Okay, I do believe this is the town hall. Big arch, not there, not, not, not there. Oh, that looks like a blacksmith. Hello there. What can you do for me today? I may very well have work. 
I want the blade in the best possible condition. There we go. Just uh, took the opportunity there. Let's see then what were we supposed to do. House with a globe over the door opposite the blacksmith. Well, it could be that actually. You see that. Does look promising. Cartographer's house. Oh, this is a pretty cool uh, location. Do you uh, mind if I look in your chest? Oh, he does mind. <laughs> Oopsie. And let's hope he forgot. <laughs> we do that again. Oh, he he he, he killed him. <laughs> Oopsie. But uh that's alright because he wasn't the guy we needed. You uh you don't mind that, uh, do you? Talking to Fernando. Finally, here you are. I thought not to see you again. It's a long story, but Fernando has had to deal with some mishaps. Let's go to the most important point. Any clue about the Bartolomeo's whereabouts? Maybe. Bartolomeo wrote the pirates could be some former crewman of Henry Morgan. I know Bartolomeo made at least one expedition with Henry Morgan. Maybe there has been a dispute with this group and they retaliated kidnapping his son. If this dispute has existed, I don't think it occurred during an expedition of Henry Morgan, but later, after his life of pirate. What do you know exactly? When Henry Morgan stopped his career of privateer, a group of former crewmen led by Guillaume Auger has continued the piracy. Maybe these pirates were the kidnappers of his son. Did they have a favorite place? Like Henry Morgan, between expeditions, they used to rest at Ile Avache. Do you think his corpse is there? Maybe. Anyway, we have no clue about another location, and the island is not too far from here. We can try. Alright then, one more look in the quest book. A small island just south of Hispaniola. For some reason fast travel is disabled here. And here it works again. We go to that port. And let us save here and finish for the day. So, uh, that was quite the story. A Bartolomeo or Portuguese's backstory. We finally get to figure out what happened to our big hero of heroes. Play through his storyline and the assassin one as well if you can. But anyway, that's for another time and another day. For now, Again, remember, tomorrow, Saturday, at 20 hundred cent European time, podcast on our Discord with Modern Knight from the Buccaneers Reef about the Historical Eras 2 project. Be there, be square, thank you, and bye-bye.